Good morning, children. Today we are going to start our second lesson. That is, so you think you can divide. So you think you can divide. Let us see who is saying this to whom. Okay. Divide means getting separated. Divide means getting separated from our elders, like brothers, sisters, or with some relatives. Okay. There was once an old man who had three sons and seventeen camels. The sons were called Rupal, Nathu, and Laji. There was a there was once an old man who had three sons. There was an old man. He had three sons, and also he had seventeen. How what he had seventeen camels, and the his sons' names were Rupal. Nathu and Lalji, and we are not worried in this story about what the camels were called. And here we don't want to know what the camels were called as because we want to know what the old man is saying and what his sons want to do. Okay, the father was getting very old. One day he called his sons together and said, "Boys." I am old, and one of these days I will die. When I am gone, please promise me that you won't quarrel over my camels. The father was getting very old. Every uh, means now after every year, year by year, every person will get old. Last year we were uh, you were five years. This year you are six year. Last year you are year you were ten years old. This year you are eleven years old. Last year the we i was like 35 or 36 and this year i will be like 37 38 like that every year we will become old the same the old man also has become old day by day and one day he called all his sons all his three sons and he said that i am getting old day by day i am getting old day by day and one of these days i am going to die one of these days means tomorrow day after tomorrow after one month after two months i i am going to die and then i want you all to promise me that when i die means when i go you will not quarrel means you will not fight for my camels what he says now after some days today tomorrow any time i may die once i am died once i am died you, you uh, i want you all to promise that you will not quarrel quarrel means you will not fight for my camels the three sons looked at gloomy they lo did not want their father to die but they were eager to hear what he had to say the three sons looked gloomy means they were surprised wondered why my our father is saying like this that one day i'm going to die because we don't want our father to die no child child wants their parents to die we all love our parents right the same way these three boys or three men also were loving and caring respecting his their father so much and they were also not wanted their father to die but they wanted to listen what he, the father is trying to say rupal looked pleased thank you father sorry children i missed one line i want to you want to you to divide the camels in the in this way continued the old man rupal you are my first son and the eldest you must have half the camels then father continued that i want you to divide the camels in the way i i say i want you all to divide the camels in the way i say rupal you are the elder one you are the elder one so you will have the half of the camels you will have half the camels means in 14 camels rupal will have seven camels right half means seven rupal looked pleased listening to it rupal was very happy listening to it rupal was very happy because in 14 camels he is getting half means seven then thank you father he said he thanked his father thank you father then nathu uh, said the old man you are the second boy and you must take the take a third of the camels then he called his second son nathu you are the second son rupal was the first son and he is getting half camels 
So Natu is second son. The father called his name and he said, "Rupal, you are my second boy. You are my second son, and you must have to take one third of my camels. You have to take the one third of the camels. In remaining seven camels, you have to take one third of camels." Then he turned to youngest one, youngest boy, and said, "Lalji, you will get a ninth." Then he turned into the youngest one, the smaller son, and he said, "Lalji, you will get the ninth." Then, the younger boy were were little disappointed, but they did not complain. They promised the not to quarrel, but to do exactly as their father had commanded. Then the boys were not so happy. The younger youngest but brothers were not so happy because Rupal. He is getting fifty percent of the camel camels means half of the camels seven ca in fourteen camels they were they were getting seven camels and in remaining camels the one will get one third and the other one will get get nine percent so they were not so happy but they did not express it to their father they did not tell about it or they did not complain about it to their father they just said okay father. because they had promised him that they will not fight but they had not also promised him that they will not take as their father has commanded means what his father their father has told them to divide they have not promised that we will listen to your you and we will divide as you said that 50% we will give to him and remaining 30% to him and remaining i'll take they have not promised but they said okay we will not fight and then A few days later, sadly and very suddenly, the father died. After some time, some time, sadly, suddenly, all of sudden, the old man died. The boys arranged the funeral, and when that was over, they got down to the business of sharing out the camels. Then, as he died. they complete they finished the rituals means the funeral uh, taking body to the this graveyard and burying him all the rituals they completed as that as the all rituals completed once the all, everything is over they get into the business means they started about thinking about the sharing how much percentage the elder one will give get and the second person how much per, uh, percentage second son will get and the how much percent the third one will get they started sharing they started to think about the sharing means business means sharing rupal the elder boy eldest boy said father wanted me to have half the camels but half of the cam seven is eight so half of the 17 is eight and a half how can i take half camel the best idea would be is me to take nine camels and you two can share the rest then rupal he said that father has told us to told me to take half of the camels means in 17 i am going to get eight and half taking eight and half is little difficult because i cannot cut the camel in two piece and take one piece so it is better that i'll take nine so but it is better that i'll take nine and in remaining you can divide among yourself because father wanted me to take how much half of the his camel then the brother the two brother the other two brothers looked stunned they shook their heads from side to side and show their show they did not agree with their brother's idea and the elder brothers sorry younger brothers they were stunned means they were shocked how can he say like that he want to take nine and in remaining he want us to divide it is not possible they shook their head they shook their head shook kandre alert so do they shook their head and they say they they said that we are not agree for this idea they said that they are they, we are not agree for this idea okay children so remaining part we will learn in the next class and let us see how they divided the camels among themselves okay how they divided the camels among themselves the which boy means which son got how many camels and all we will learn in the next class till then take care